So, welcome to tutorial 3A of my tutorial to mo model a Star Trek based spaceship. Unfortunately, I lost um, audio when saving the video file, so I will just recommend it. So, um, let's just start, let's see how good it works. Um, here, we, I just started to explain where we are, so we can just jump a little bit into the future. Um, let's go to side view by pressing uh, number number one or number seven, uh, number three button on your keyboard, um, so that you see a uh, uh, view like you see in the video right now. Um, then we will just add a cube as our um, starting mesh. So let's, um, yeah, good, yeah, exactly. So we first put the three D cursor here. I will just remove my my second cursor here um, and add add a uh, cube go go add a cube ok looks like I explained something before which is not so important for this tutorial so let's just go jump a little bit more into the future ok so here we added our um, cube but unfortunately it wasn't aligned to the center so we just open this menu in this um, which you see on, on the right side and add um, and correct the x value of the mesh uh, of, our, of our cube mesh um, then we loop cut and slide um, our cube in the middle just uh, vertically and then we select the other uh, faces on the right side of our uh, cube and delete them Okay, then we have a half cube. You know, we um, already this mirror modifying from the previous tutorial. So we add a mirror modifier and we add also a subdivision surface modifier, like we did in the with the saucer section. We set it smooth, and you know the subsurface is always a sphere of a cube. The subsurface of a sphere is always a cube. No, it's the opposite. So this this is the reason why we see a sphere right now. So let's stretch. Um, our cube to a length we want our um, body of our ship to be like yes. So we just select the four vertices in the front side and move them along the uh, y axis. So pressing G and X to move it uh, along the X axis. Actually, we are moving it along the Y axis. So G Y is correct. And uh, we also do the same with the uh, back vertices. Just put them where you want them to be. So this defines the length of our body. So we have it like that. So in the top view we see that it is much too thin. So let's select the left vertices um, and just move them along the uh, x axis until you are satisfied with the width of your body so looks quite boring right now <coughs> so we also um, adapt the size as uh, the height of our uh, body it's of course your personal choice how, how um, deep it should be or um, which height it should have so here it looks like I, de I decided that it is not long enough, so I think we will move it a little bit more, but maybe not. So let's see what we do, just speed this up a little bit. Okay. Oh yes, this is important, we just selected the vertices on the side all four of them and scale them do down along the Z axis by pressing F and Z and scale it down then and uh, we also moved it a little bit to the side then we let, uh, add another uh, um, loop cut and slide move it a little bit until they are satisfied and then we scale it up along the Z axis like you see in the video so that it looks like a little bit uh, of the body of the Enterprise D maybe the galaxy glass uh, now I remember actually what I was explaining at the beginning. It was 
um, by uh, we explain uh, why we model something similar to enterprise B. The reason for that is that we just want to um, model something very familiar. So now we added another loop, cut and slide. We'll just pause it here. We added another loop, cut and slide here, and moved this um, loop edge here to the front part of our ship to define our shape in this area better. Then we add another loop, cut and slide, and make the same as the back side of our ship. So speed up. Explaining something here again, nothing too important, I hope. Yeah, don't forget to save your file. Yeah, exactly. It's now we select the back vertices and scale them down along the z axis so that you have a, a, a tilt here. Oh, oh okay, I l we lost our key monitor here. I don't know why. Som sometimes it's cancelling. I don't know a better way to make it right now. Sorry for that. There it is again. And now we continue modeling our um, ship. So we just move this edge vertices, vertices a little bit closer to the center. And then even more, but together with those other vertices. And then we move this one along the y axis. Those two vertices here. So that we have a round shape. Okay, looks already not so bad from the front. Very similar to the galaxy class. Now we select those faces in the front and just deleting them, but do, um, we say just only faces so that we don't delete um, too much. But there we have this edge in the middle. These two edges actually, we have to remove both of them so that it looks like that. And we selected all um, edges here by alt selecting them. So we we'll press the alt mouse button and uh, the alt button on the keyboard, and then the right mouse button on an edge, so that you have all of them. But here we do something. I uh, should slow it down maybe a little bit. So now we have all these vertices again, um, and put the and pivot point of our transformation operations. Um, to the 3D cursor. The 3D cursor we put it to the center of those um, of this line in the middle actually. So when we scale it down now, we uh, we have it. It's more easier to uh, we, uh, we will not become a hole, get a hole in our ship like we had in the while modeling the uh, saucer section. So now I just switch to a layer where just the body is visible. So it's layer 2. Now we still have these edges. Actually we already extruded it a little bit and moved it uh, and scaled it down, what we did right now. So we have a small um, rounding here, so two edges. And then we scale it again, uh, extrude it again, and oh no, we just add, um, change the position of it a little bit to have the, the surrounded edge, the surrounded surface here a little bit more clear. So still optimizing it. Now this, oh no, sorry, this was an extruded, actually, so we extruded it once, scaled it a little bit down, um, extruded it again, scaled it again down, and then we extruded it a fourth time, scaled it a little bit down again, but this time we also move it along the uh, X axis, so inside the ship. So just that we have a nice rounding here. Okay, so we already prepared our um, deflector here. Well, the shape of our deflector actually. So now we can be maybe a little bit more uh, speed up this again a little bit. So speed up. Okay. Here again, just a little bit of optimization. I just selected this um, edge on the side of our deflector and moved it a little bit in, in into um, to the center of the ship. I do the same with this upper edge, a little bit more even, 
I am doing that because of uh, um, we will add a um, well the <coughs> our deflector will be a glowy shiny um, light and it should it needs some surfaces which it can um, lighten up so that it looks just cool with this lightning you know without the surface uh, light will just go into space and doesn't look so cool in, in empty space you know. So we prepare our color here, but I think, yes, we just copy the uh, saucer ring light bottom, so we select it and then press on this number 3 button to have it single, and then we call it deflector dark blue. That's it, now it's single, we have selected it, we obviously switch to texture but doesn't change anything there just explain something okay fascinating fascinating seeing me myself modeling Look, looks funny okay so we add another material and this time we copy saucer ring light top and make it single too and we name it uh, deflector light blue there's already this uh, texture inside. You know, this is this is this rotating white shiny light on the saucer section. Thought about removing it here, but uh, just wanted to try it out how it looks. And actually, I already know the result, so I'm quite satisfied with it. And that's why we just left like it is. So um, we selected again these edges by loop selecting them with Alt and right clicking them, right clicking them, then we extruded it and scaled it down, then we switched our material and extruded it again. This time we scaled it down but moved it also along the y-axis into the ship so that we have a little bit of nice shape here. And then we switch our material again and repeat those steps until we are satisfied so that we have a shape approximately like that what you see here. Then we add another material to shape the or model the or material the um, center of our deflector and we call it deflector pu pu deflect oh defl deflector purple funny I didn't realize it's terrible it isn't spelling error so just call it deflector purple uh, but might make a quite light lightened purple so that it doesn't look too public and in the center we close it with a uh, light blue but of course you can change this it's on your own choice so we made it smooth for some reason we have a, uh, we have a hoop there which I didn't want it to have what you see now but this one actually I liked very much oh actually just stop the video here this happened because um, the 3D cursor is still here and when we scaled it down we scaled it um, into the direction of our 3D cursor that's why by scaling we moved it into the direction of our uh, 3D cursor so if you don't want this it'll just um, change this one here to median point again so, okay can continue actually I am keeping it like that because I liked it um, yeah here I just wanted to remove this we just need to select all of these vertices in the middle and scale it down along the uh, I think x axis to zero then it will be flat again but here is where I explain that I like the shape how it is so I let it just remove this uh, the, the, the head of the hill so this is our shape, it's still quite basic, but not bad, actually. So we can speed up it again. I'm doing here a lot of blah blah again. Oh, okay, oh, that's too, too, too much, too much, too much, too much. Let's look what we did. Okay, we added another loop cut and slide here and moved it a little bit un into the back side of the ship. And here uh, we are just improving the shape a little bit like we want to it to be just make it like you want it actually <coughs> you don't need to make the exactly shape same shape like me 
otherwise if you want the exactly like shape just copy the blender file so then here, here I'm just moving some one of the edges on the back side a little bit to the up to, sh to have a better shape here a little bit like again the galaxy glass and here I want to make the stomach part if I can if, if can if I can say it this way again with a loop cut and slide and now we just select the uh, edges on the lower side of our ship actually just the middle one and it looks now looks like I was not so satisfied with just selecting the middle one and then I decided to just select the middle one actually very funny so now we, we have um, oh, on a stomach also okay now I think we are yeah we already reached the end of our video I hope you could follow with this uh, not real time explaining actually we save time doing it this way interesting um, if it if some and uh, some what was too difficult to understand just ask in the comments and I will try to add a comment to this video to make it better so of course the uh, dimensions has to be fixed um, so it doesn't fit well mm, very well to each other the body the saucer section is a warp engine especially the warp engines are too small I think but this we will do in the um, next tutorial. Yeah, in tutorial 3B. Well, um, the set on my VLC media player just reminds me to wish you a very, very nice Christmas tomorrow, actually. And hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.